What's up, YouTube? Tenchi Arizona, the angry Dracolope and the Jackalope crew here. And today's video is on my tops Tybo. Now, this video was originally supposed to come out yesterday, but it was delayed, and I'll explain why in a minute. But first of all, I do still have 141 channel stickers left available. These little beauties here. 70 millimeters diameter, printed on vinyl. They are a dollar fifty a piece. That is one US dollar and fifty cents a piece. If you would like to get yourself some, you'll find a paypal.me link in the description of my videos and in my channel banner on YouTube. Now that's out of the way, let's get to the Tybo, shall we? Now, if you're part of the Tops Users Facebook group, uh, Tops Knives Users Facebook group, you may have seen my post and you may have saw the comment that I was planning to modify my Tops Tybo. Well, that is part of the reason this video is not out till today. You see, yesterday I started to remove the coating by hand sanding. 240 grit sandpaper cut down into little strips just like this. Very small strips. And I started by sanding down the coating between the point and the jimping on the spine of the blade. And I thought that looked good. I could have left it there, but I wanted to take it a step further. And I decided early on, in fact, I decided before I started, that I wanted to blue this blade. So I ordered some Birchwood Casey's Super Blue. Uh, that's not arrived yet, but I've got the prep work done on this knife, so it is ready to be blued without me spending God knows how long sanding before I can do that. That said, I sanded the coating off the handle, uh, basically the handle and the spine, all around the spine, from the tip of the blade all the way back to the gym pin on the grip by hand. And that took me all of yesterday evening up until around midnight to just do that. So today, instead of continuing with hand sanding, I tried the Dremel. Didn't get very far with it. It wasn't really cutting into the coating like I would have liked. So today, just after lunchtime, I went and got myself some paint stripper. And I soaked this blade in paint stripping gel for an hour and a half and then scraped the remainder of the black traction coating off. So now we have a naked tops Tibo, Tybo, however you pronounce it. And very soon this blade will be blued, but I thought I would share my current progress with you before my bluing solution arrived. And here you go, you can see that there. Hopefully it's not too much in shadow because I am working at an awkward angle here. There you go. That's the Tybo with its coating removed. And as I said, initially I just sanded bare this section from the point to the gym pin. And that looked really good. I will be, I'll be honest, that looked really good and I could have stopped there. But I decided if I was going to, as I wanted to blue the blade, and I have got another blade I can modify by the way. As I wanted to blue the blade, I thought there was no point just stripping this section here and bluing that one area. So I decided to strip the thing fully. And I think what I'm going to actually do when I blue this blade is I'm going to tape off the tip here 
and leave this section between the gym pin and the point as bare metal just to give it a little more character now why did i decide on a cold blowing solution well because honestly it's the easiest modification i can think of and i've had this knife quite some time now and i was honestly getting a bit bored of the black traction coating as you would have seen if you saw my facebook post if not i'll post a picture up here I have a set of black and yellow grips for my Tylo black and yellow scales, which is this set here. Hopefully they show nicely for you. But this is not the only set I have, and I'm not sure this is a set I'm going to put on after I've blued it. Anyway, these are my yellow jacket scales made by Denny Carey over at Carey Customs. And I also have these checker flag scales with a red liner. Hopefully you can see that there. Again, made by Denny Carey over at Carey Customs. And I think these are the ones that I'm going to put on after I have blued the blade. They have slightly more swell to them. They're slightly thicker than the yellow and black scales, the yellow jacket scales. And I think with the blue in, the red liners will really pop. So after I've modified my current Tybo, this is the set of scales that will be installed. And I call these the Speed Racer scales because they are a checker flag and because they have red liners. And let's face it, most high-end sports cars, especially Ferraris, have red paint. And McLaren's as well, actually. So, that's the progress so far on my Tops Tybo, or Tebo, however you want to say it. And I hope you all look forward to seeing the finished product. Now, depending on the postal service, you could see the finished product as the next video, which will be sometime on Saturday. Or you could be kept waiting to the video after that, which will be Monday. So, that's about it for now regarding my Tops Tybo. Uh, just a reminder, I do have a channel giveaway going on at the moment. And there will be a link to that giveaway in the description of this video. You can also find me on Instagram at the Angry Dracolope. Again, link in the description of this video and in my channel banner on YouTube. Anyway, that's all for now. If you like it, like it, please subscribe, comment and share. And remember, be good to each other.